Most drugs can affect our health, and can lead to bigger problems if we keep using them. However, there is one drug that is quite dangerous and used quite frequently and this is tobacco. Hi audience. I'm Oddcast Daniel. And I'm Dr. Simon, and today, we will be discussing the effects of smoking on our health, and what we can do to stop smoking. Let's get started. When it comes to our health, smoking is an important risk factor in the development of many illnesses. Here, you can see the organs which will potentially be damaged when smoking. In the UK, there are millions of smokers. However, the amount of smokers decreased from 46% in the 1970s to around 18% by 2013. Cancer Research UK has shown that around 9.4 million adults smoke in the UK. That's around 19% of the population. According to the NHS, smoking killed around 77,900 people in 2016, with 484,700 people being hospitalized. These numbers are quite alarming. What are the dangers of smoking? Regardless of how you smoke tobacco, the effect of the smoke you inhale is the same. Smoking can lead to numerous health problems, and we're gonna look at some of them now. We recommend that you learn this section. According to the NHS, smoking causes 7 out of 10 lung cancers, which is the single greatest cause of death by cancer in the UK. That's because cigarette smoke contains a number of chemicals which can trigger cancer. These are called carcinogens. Smoking also increases the risk of other lung diseases such as emphysema. These diseases are extremely unpleasant and lead to a very poor quality of life. It also causes cancer in many other parts of the body, including the mouth, throat, voice box, esophagus, the tube between your mouth and stomach, bladder, bowel, cervix, kidney, liver, stomach and the pancreas. Smoking damages your heart and the circulatory system, increasing your risk of developing cardiovascular diseases, diseases of the heart and blood vessels such as coronary heart disease. We're gonna look at what happens in coronary heart disease. We should point out that you might have already learnt this in science, and this may not be related to smoking. In coronary heart disease, layers of fatty material build up inside the coronary arteries. This causes the coronary arteries to narrow. The effect of this is to reduce the flow of blood through the coronary arteries. This results in a lack of oxygen for the heart muscle. In extreme cases, this can result in a heart attack, where the blood is starved of oxygen and this can be fatal. Smoking also reduces fertility and increases the risk of impotence. Smoking can as well harm an unborn baby. This increases the risk of miscarriage and premature birth. It can also lead to the baby being born with a low body mass. So to summarize, pregnant women are advised not to smoke at all. This harms the unborn baby. Smoking also affects the brain, leading to addiction stroke and disability. Many of these conditions are fatal. So, it is important to take the right steps to stop smoking. If you are surrounded by people who smoke, then you are still at the risk of developing health problems. Passive smoking, alone, can increase your risk of heart disease by 25%. If you wish to have a long and healthy life, then it is important that you stop smoking. The best time to stop smoking is now. If you are struggling to stop smoking, we will give you 7 ways which can help you achieve your goal. Way 1. Write down the pros and cons. Why is it that you smoke? Is it because it's a stress reliever? Is it because you're addicted to it and can't manage without them? Either way, you would find that the pros you write down are nothing compared to the cons, in other words, what it will do to your health. Keep in mind that smoking causes lung cancers, heart attacks, strokes, etc., and it is an expensive habit. If you find out that you wrote more cons than pros, it is clear that you have to stop smoking. Way to let your family know that you are stopping smoking. Their support can be invaluable, in other words useful. Way 3. Set a date to stop smoking. Keep in mind that it does not have to be straight away, but it can be a few days from now. Way 4. 
avoid yourself getting into situations where you are likely to smoke. If you are serious about stopping smoking, throw away your lighters and cigarettes. That way, you can avoid temptations and stay away from smoking completely. Way 5. Think of the advantages of quitting smoking. Once you throw away your last cigarette, the benefits start to kick in almost instantly. For example, within 12 hours, the levels of carbon monoxide in your blood fall. The circulation of blood through the body, as well as the function of the lungs improve within a few weeks to 3 months. The risk of heart disease decreases by 50% within a year of quitting, as well as cancer risks dropping within 5 years. The benefits go on. Way 6. Use nicotine replacement therapies. One way is to chew nicor at gum such as this one. Keep in mind that while these are available in the UK, they can be expensive, but it's worth the cost. Way 7. Think of the money you are going to save. Smoking is an expensive habit. Stopping this will help you save a lot of money. Stop smoking today and save yourself from all the smoking-related conditions. It's never too late. So, that's all we have for this presentation. We hope you've enjoyed it. Don't smoke, stay healthy, and we will see you mateys in the next video. Goodbye everyone.